Hey guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today is the video you've been waiting for. We're going to do this shooting test and evaluation of the Double Eagle M904H as a DMR. So a quick point on safety, if you are going to do unboxings, uh, disassemblies, uh, even shooting videos and things like that, please make sure you take proper safety precautions, uh, eye protection, making sure other people have got theirs on, that kind of thing. And also a disclaimer, any of the, the things that you see in this video um, cannot, do not and will not apply to real steel uh, counterparts to these. These are classed as toy guns and that's all they see these videos are about. Hey guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do like and subscribe because you're going to be really helping me out. Especially the like button because that helps me get seen. Uh, I have opened up channel membership, so if you would like to become a member, there is a join button sort of down here somewhere. It's just 99 pence a month and I will be massively grateful for you for that as well. You do get uh, bloopers and a private chat uh, in my Discord as well, which you should also join for free um, if you haven't done so already. So here we are then with the DMR. I have been out and I have shot this on site at Irk, the bear, and who I appreciate it massively. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go and take a look at that footage right now. Ever so slightly too high. Right. Right, ready? Right, start there then. Get them sights up. Oh, sorry, there we go. I can easy eat you there. Sorry, did that rasp? Oh. <laughs> He's still going as well. No way. <laughs> yes. No way, did it eat you there? Bloody hell. Are they dropping, uh, well, just see where they're dropping by you. Is that where it stops? I'm not gonna lie, I am so, so impressed at just how well this actually shot. Now, we did this at lunchtime at Humber Airsoft. Massive shout out to those guys for letting us uh, sort of go and film on site and everything with this during the game day. Uh, and we sort of worked it out uh, roughly just over 70 meters I was getting with this. So at 400, just below 450 FPS, with the 6.01 tight ball barrel, which does come just a touch out of the suppressor on its own. I could put a barrel extension in there if I wanted and needed to, quite happily. Um, with the Maple Leaf MR, never missed a shot at all. It fired every single time, lovely. With 0.3 gram BBs, I'm putting out, or it was putting out just over 70 meters, which is absolutely phenomenal. I was so, so impressed. Like, it just like blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. So this DMR then, let, let's sort of break this down. So it's cost me £100 for the base gun. And all I've done to it internally, the only things have changed 
the hot rubber and tensioner and the barrel. The barrel itself cost me uh, 20, just short of 25 pounds, which I'll put a link down below. And it came in a Taiwan gun order. The hot rubber I had to change. And I think it was, I want to say about 10 pounds for the Maple Leaf MR rubber and about might have been as much as five pounds for the Omega uh, tensioner. Again, I will link those down below to AK to M4, um, who've been brilliant. So those are the only changes I made. So what's that? Hundred hundred pound for the gun, twenty five for the barrel. Um, let's call it twenty for the rubber and tensioner. Um, so you're looking at hundred and forty five pounds, and I've got something that shoots absolutely phenomenally. The scope I already had, so all right, you could argue the cost of the scope as well. True. The scope, I think, was like 24 quid off Amazon. It's not an amazing one, and there's much better ones out there. It is just a, a cheap one for looks, I suppose, more than anything. But for less than 150 quid, less than 200 pound, I've got an absolutely phenomenal DMR that we, if a site needed me to lower it to 400 FPS, it's a quick change spring system, which we'll look at next week in the disassembly video. If I needed to, um, you know, sort of, um, put a physical block in there. I could quite easily sink a physical block uh, into the sort of body to stop the selector going round any further. Um, it just offers me so many options. Plus the fact that in its own right, this gun is an excellent piece of kit on its own, out of the box at £100. The programmable MOSFET itself, you know, is just absolutely brilliant. The features it's getting here. You know, if I was SEMA, I'd be thinking, damn, this is what we need to be doing. Even license the thing from them if you need to, if it was my opinion, because more and more people now are wanting those MOSFETs in there for the, the three shot burst, five shot burst, the uh, trigger sensitivity option, even the binary trigger. I know a lot of players, particularly in CQB, are wanting binary triggers now, you know, and they're having to pay for more expensive systems to get those out there. So, just absolutely phenomenal piece of kit, uh, and I'm so impressed with it. You know, the fact that I'm getting that kind of range, over just over 70 metres out of that, with no real effort or hassle at all, is phenomenal. I am interested to see what the gearbox looks inside like now, if it's still sort of holding up under the wear and tear, which will be next week's video. But this has been a fantastic project. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it won't be one I keep because I do not have the patience to run DMR, in all honesty. I really don't have the patience uh, at all. I, don't, I just don't sit still very well. Well, you can probably see with my hands moving about and the way the, tape, the sort of camera moves now and again, you know, I'm always moving about. So this, for me, isn't going to be the, the keeper. Um, maybe the DSG build I've got coming up will be, but we'll see about that. We'll see about that. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I hope you will come back next week for the disassembly as well to see um, just what the internals are looking like after the abuse we've sort of put it through. Um, please do remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.